very good evening friends and in this video we are going to discuss about the GUI offered by PYQDFI and in this video we are just trying to uh, use um, painter so that we can draw some sketches some diagram maybe I'm just trying to draw an ellipse so from PY I'm importing few features called the pro from PYQDFI import QTGUI from PYQDFI.Q2QT visits import Q application and Q main window. Okay, then from PYQTFI.QTGUI import Q painter. Q brush and then Q pen. So another import is from PYQTFI dot QT core import QT and then QT no it's not there and then you import sys for system import sys okay then we have to create the class uh, class window and then you pass the q main window and then i have to initialize the constructor of the super class that is def in it in itself and then the super dot in it in it so this is done and uh, then I'll initialize the basic features what are important like uh, where the window will be placed and the, how the window will be taking the important features so now I take the self dot title equal to title for my window and that is uh, self dot title you can write any title I would like to write as uh, um, py or you can say the python gui applications anything you can write gui application you can also have one icon if you feel like otherwise that's sufficient and then self dot in it window this function we are going to design and this function will um, initialize our window features where the thing will be seen so the def init window and then I'll write self dot uh, set title self dot set window icon then you can pass the q t g u i dot uh, q t icon and then you have to pass the name of one image so i have already some images i'll take one like uh, icon.png this is small tiny image you can take a small sized image because these are just the icons displayed on the border of the window now self dot set window title then I can pass the self dot titles what the string I have described above that is the python GUI application then self dot set geometry means where the image will be placed so these are the sizes 100 from the width of the screen 100 from the top of the screen and then the size of the window will be 600 and the width will be 600 and the height will be 350 and then you see that the self dot show so there you can see all these important features but since we have to draw our uh, eclipse or any particular line or whatever geometry you want to draw using this uh, q pen and the q brush so what i have to do is that uh, I need to define another function and then I'll call it as the pent event so this is inbuilt function I'm not designing I'm just calling it so the queue event I'll paste the self dot event 
and then inside that I have to write the painter object I have to create the painter equal to Q painter and then self dot no dot self so the we have to that functions painter dot set pen and then you pass Q pen and inside the Q pen you pass QT dot color that is blue or black here I'm using dark blue and then you write the width of that pen that is 2 and then the QT dot the type of the line you want to draw like the QT dot solid line dashed line dash dot dot line all these features there and then the painter dot draw and uh, you just call the function which function you want to draw so the pen dot draw ellipse and um, you pass the position where the eclipse will be printed on the window 100 100 from the side uh, bar and the top bar and then this is the major axis and the minor axis of the ellipse which is 400 and 250 then create the object of that uh, q applications so q application and uh, you pass system dot argv so this is system dot argument kind of then there you pass window equals window uh, yeah. so this is the object of our main uh, class is window only system dot exit uh, app dot exec exet okay yes then I do make it small app because app is small I have written everywhere now I think uh, this part is ready let's see run the application see then there you see this is the eclipse this is the pop-up window on which you see the eclipse uh, it's not placed nicely because I have written 100 100 so let me make it 50 50 okay so this one will be 100 and that will also be 50 50 is fine 50 from one side 50 from and the size is already 360 so 600 350 nice fine yes so it is placed nicely if you make the width as one you can see the thickness of the line drawn by the q pen will become like see this i made 10 so this is 10 times if you make it one then become the thin then you can write the qt dot dashed line so the dot dot line so dash dash line what we call see this is dash dash line then um, you can change the color you can draw other lines also so it's called the uh, let's see this dash dot dot line so dash dot dot line the name only speaks and the thickness i'm making it two and then the color let me make it red uh, not capital small 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 no it will not play it should be red small so okay Recording videos and making something is also very irritating. You want to see the results, but the human errors you cannot defy because always there is a chance that you can make mistake in the code. I don't believe that you should write the flawless codes. I think you should make mistakes because that is the best way of learning. Because if there is no mistake, then you'll never understand, never be forced to think. So now I just try to draw another line, painted or draw line. And 0, 0 is the initial position and then this is the final position 2403 and this is too huge useless kind of you see is going taking a huge turn there so I need to make it smaller one 240 because the size is 6350 size of the whole window the pop-up window which you are seeing is 600 the width and the 350 is its uh, you can say height so if i make it 600 and 350 it will be from the corner to corner kind of so 
okay for 400 300 you see the how the gradient will be changing see beginning from 00, zero and uh, this is coming here now you see on the uh, title bar there is the top of this small icon of the butterfly you see that is my icon dot png so now i make it also 650 to 350 so this is how you can make changes to this see this is the basic features i think uh, you understood just if you want to master this you have to keep on drawing because the python looks like silly on those uh, terminals but if it has its own gui feature so why don't you make the projects in the gui because this is how the whole thing works so this is all friends thank you very much subscribe to our channel and uh, keep watching our videos keep practicing with us and that is the way you can grow to become a very good programmer thank you very much have a very nice time